Dear Europeans, for many of us, the start of a new year marks a time for reflection and looking to the future, to appreciate all our many achievements and to consider the occasional failures too, to reflect upon the adeptness of our way of doing things and looking forward to how we can do things differently and better in the next year. 2022 has been a difficult year for Europe. We were tasked to deal with the tailwinds of the pandemic, a perfect storm of climate change, inflation spiking and energy supplies dwindling. All this against the backdrop of war on our continent. The fact is that no one country has the ability to tackle all these questions alone. But together, we have not only been able to address seemingly insurmountable challenges, but we have also been able to do so quickly and effectively. In 2023, we must continue on this path of determination and unity. In the coming year, we will need to deliver. We need to deliver on Europe's competitiveness. This means a return to growth, bringing our bills under control, pushing back against inflation, and making sure the green and digital transitions continue in earnest. And in 2023, we need to double down on protecting our values, freedom, democracy, justice, equality, solidarity, and the rule of law. Most importantly, we will continue to stand with Ukraine for a peace with liberty, peace with dignity, and peace with security. And so may the upcoming year continue to show the power of Europe to bring about progress, to help bring about positive change, to transform in ways that will enable us to better address future problems. And most importantly, to remind us all that as Europeans, there will always, always remain so much more that unites us rather than divides us. I wish you all a happy new year.